In this video, we will see how to customize the order placement interface and trading options in Pro Real Time. To customize the order bar here, which lets you place orders in the platform, either click the small wrench here or go to Options, Trading Options, and then click on Order Interface. From this window, we can enable or disable different order types. To enable or disable an order, just check the box. The types of orders that are available are trailing stop order, horizontal limit, horizontal stop, stop with limit protection, at market order, one cancels the other, oblique limit, oblique stop, at market if touched, or at market if touched oblique. You can also link targets and stops to your orders with this part. To do that, check the box possibility to add stop and target leg right here. As you can see, that makes these two check boxes appear, which will allow you to link a stop or target to your main order. This box link targets and stops applies to the orders displayed in the left section right here. When you are finished configuring this, simply close the window. We now have our order bar customized with different types of orders. You can see at the top of the order bar, the type of order is displayed. For example, here is the OCO order, one cancels the other. This is the limit orders, horizontal and oblique. These are the stop orders, horizontal, oblique, trailing stop. This is the stop limit order, and these are the market orders right here. The boxes, again, to associate the stop and target orders appear right here. You will see for certain types of orders that additional lines appear in the icon when we click on stop and target. This means that these additional stop and target orders will be applied when we place our main limit order. For example, here we see our buy limit order or sell limit order with the associated target and stop levels. On the other hand, an oblique order will not have the predefined target and stop levels applied. It's possible to manually add target and stop orders to these oblique orders. When you want to place an order with an associated stop and target, several parameters are available. To bring up this window, simply place your mouse over the number shown here. We can configure the type of associated stop between normal stop, trailing stop, or stop with limit protection. We can also set the distance of the stop in points per contract or choose the price on the chart. 10 points per contract here, or here choose price on chart. The same thing can be done with the target order. Let's select choose price on chart. Now when I go to place my limit order, I will initially place the main order, then I will place the target, then I will place the stop. As you saw, the target and stop were placed manually by choosing the price on the chart. Additional trading options may be configured from the trading options window. We were in the order interface tab before. You can also select options for manual trading such as options related to order validation and order status changes, closed position, and security. Several options are also available related to automatic trading and automatic trading strategies. In this part, you can select options related to statistics and order display. Here I have moved up the chart to show you the effects of some of these changes. 
You can display gains in the instrument currency or the portfolio currency. This can be useful if you were trading an instrument in a different currency than the currency of your portfolio. Or you can also display gains in points or pips or in the currency of the instrument. For example here, since we're trading a future, the gains have been displayed in pips. Display gains in position and order labels. This can be unchecked if you do not want to display gain on your position label or potential gain on your stop and target orders. You can also choose to display these gains or potential gains in currency or points, percentage of position, or percentage of portfolio. The information at the top of the chart here can be customized. Portfolio value, latent gain, gain today, today's trades, winning, neutral, or losing. Pending orders, position, unit cost, position duration, and exposure can all be displayed at the top here or hidden. Do not show positions and pending orders on charts when the trading interface is hidden. There's a button right here that you can click to hide the trading interface. If this option is checked, when you hide the trading interface, your positions and orders on the chart will also be hidden. You can uncheck this option to always display your positions and orders on the chart, even when you've hidden the trading interface here, for example, to concentrate on the indicator buttons time frame or amount of historical data displayed in the chart. Display position variation will let you display or not display the variation of your position for a label on the position that will be either larger or more narrow. Display historical levels of positions, trailing stops, and other orders will simply let you show their previous levels uh, if you've moved the order or the position level has changed, for example. Display trading icons and list windows will let you display the green and red arrows here, which let you place orders from lists. Display of recent executed orders on all price charts lets you display your entry and exit orders and customize the icon displayed on the chart. This drop down menu lets you choose how much historical data you want to display your recently executed orders on. For example, you can choose just today, two days, one week, one month, or one year, max 500 orders on the chart. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.